Hello everybody, Andrea Trevsky here with Dental L Tutoring and this is another patient edition file. Please excuse the mess, we are moving so things are still pretty messy. Um, so I have been a tutor for dental hygiene and dental assisting students for about 13 years and I've been in the dental profession since I was 19. So for a while I was a dental assistant, a dental hygienist, and then um, recently a restorative hygienist for about three years. But I love teaching. Like This is what I love to do. I tutor full time and I teach full time, but I still work at a dental office once or twice a week maybe. It depends if they need me or not. But what I find a lot of patients are asking lately, and I don't know if it's because I'm seeing more commercials for it, which is probably the case, or the office where I sometimes help at now, we have this large um, poster talking about acidity and the pH levels. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then let me sort of recap or um, let me move backwards a little bit. So if you've seen the commercials of the Pro Enamel Toothpaste, so depending on where you live, but any type of toothpaste that's supposed to help um, remineralize the enamel on the teeth. So some toothpaste claim to make the enamel stronger or some toothpaste claim to build up the enamel if you eat a lot of things or drink a lot of things that are acidic. So think your coffee, think your wine, think your lemon water, think orange juice. Um, pop, soda, anything like that is pretty acidic. And the toothpaste is claiming that if you use the toothpaste that that will help to um, prevent that acidity from eating away at the enamel. Now the thing about the toothpaste is yes, it does help you guys, it does help, but it's better to prevent that acidity from reaching the teeth. And I'm not saying to not eat or drink the things you love, because to tell somebody to stop drinking wine is not very nice, and to tell somebody to stop drinking coffee is not very nice either, right? So I'm not saying that. But a really good tip to help with that is to have water um, afterwards. So if you have coffee, just kind of swoosh around with some water afterwards, like swoosh around so it is in the mouth. That will help to cut that acid attack because every time you have a sip of coffee, a sip of wine, that has an acid attack inside the mouth for 20 minutes. So that acidity is staying inside the mouth and basically eating your teeth for 20 minutes. But as soon as you have water, that is um, not acidic. So water on the pH scale is of a seven. So that's neutral. So that cuts that acid attack um, right away, like pretty much immediately. So you can still have those acidy, acidy, those um, acidic producing um, things, but have water afterwards to help to cut that acidity down and still use that toothpaste to help with that too. It, it cannot hurt, you know, it can only help you. But the thing about toothbrushing is, Anytime you eat something acidic, you should wait about one hour before brushing the teeth, unless you do have water afterwards. Because let's just say you have wine and you want to brush the teeth right away. Um, you're pretty much, that acid, um, that acid attack lasts for 20 minutes. So you're using your, your toothbrush and you're pretty much um, brushing that acid into the enamel more. It doesn't matter what kind of toothpaste you use, you are brushing that acid in there. So wait one hour um, after having anything acidic or rinse with water afterwards and then you can use your toothbrush right away because that acid attack is now um, no longer there. So does that make sense? I know it's a lot and if you've never heard of you know, acid attacks, pH levels, and you might be thinking, oh my God, what is she talking about? So feel free to watch the video again. And if you guys have questions, please let me know. But I guess in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is yes, that toothpaste does help, but it's better to also take it a step further and always rinse with water to help to cut that acidity down. If you can just limit yourself to anything acidic, that helps too, because you want your teeth to be as healthy as possible. Because once that acidity eats away at the tooth enamel, you cannot get that enamel back. Some commercials claim you can, you cannot build up enamel again. You, you can help to stop it from getting worse, um, and a little bit can come back, but that's like half a millimeter, but all of the enamel you can't bring back. So try to limit anything acidic, wait an hour before brushing your teeth if you have anything acidic or have some water 
um, and use that toothpaste because it does help. So again, if you guys have questions, let me know. I know that's a lot. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.